We all know food like this can be full of calories. What many of us don't realise is that alcohol can be just as bad for the waistline. Food already has clear labelling. Now experts want calorie counts to appear on booze as well. It's thought alcohol makes up around 10% of daily calorie intake for those who drink. But unlike food, alcoholic drinks contain little or no nutritional value. A gin and tonic has 90 calories, around the same as a chocolate biscuit. A pint of beer, 180 calories. That's equal to a packet of crisps. And a large glass of wine has more than 200 calories. That's the same as a donut. So would it help to list the calories on drinks? Yes, it make my it would make me more conscious of this, the decision, make me choose probably something a little bit less calorific. It always puzzled me, if you've got labelling on food, why not have it on wine? You know, it is something that you're taking in as well. It's not harmful to know it. Whether people pay any attention to it is a different question. I guess it makes sense to have the percentage of the alcohol so you can sort of judge, you know what you're drinking. But in terms of calories, I don't think anyone really minds. Today, the European Parliament voted in favour of putting calorie labels on all alcoholic drinks, though some health experts say that doesn't go far enough. We would like to see on every bottle and every can the number of units that it contains. We would also like to see health warnings. So, for example, don't drink if you're pregnant. And also, alcohol can lead to various cancers, liver disease, heart disease. People should know that when they make a decision about what they're going to drink or whether they're going to drink. It could be months or even years before calorie labelling on alcohol becomes law in Britain. But with a quarter of adults now classed as obese, it's hoped that it will make us healthier. Leila Hayes, 5 News.